Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Lynn Bowie. It is 855 and 34 degrees. Let's get to Tim. Well, not a lot of wind out there. No. That's positive, but it is very dry and definitely on the chilly side. 40 degrees is our high today under mostly sunny skies, down to 22 tonight, mainly clear and cold. And for the next several days, we stay in the 30s for the weekend. 39 on Monday, gradually warming up to 45 degrees on Thursday. Lynn? We are following breaking news this morning. An arrest has been made after a real estate sales rep was found murdered inside a model home in Anne Arundel County. 33-year-old Stephen Bernard Wilson was found Wednesday afternoon in the new Shipley's Homestead development in Hanover. A source tells us the model home was wired with cameras and did capture the suspect who fled into the woods behind the home. Police will have a press conference releasing, releasing more details about this arrest later this morning. A former private school principal who is now 90 years old is accused of raping two students more than 50 years ago. A woman came forward in 2016 saying Russell Isaac assaulted her when she was 14 at the W.C. Moffitt School in Queen Anne's County. Since then, another victim claims she was assaulted by Isaac when she was 15. The victims say it happened at the school between 1966 and 1968. Revenues are up in November for the state's six casinos, up over 7% compared to November 2017, totaling just more than $140 million. So of that money, almost $57.5 million goes back into the state of Maryland, including just about $43 million for the Education Trust Fund. The holiday lighting ceremonies continued across the area. This was the Washington Monument lighting last night in Mount Vernon.